Hey everybody. Okay, so a while back, my friend Chris Cardone from Kalium Strings suggested I check out Harrison Mixbus. What is it, and why should I even bother? Mixbus is an emulation of the classic 32C console that certain famous records were mixed on, like Back in Black and Queen the Game. It recreates the analog summing of the mixer, models the 32C equalizer, and has tape emulation built into the 12 submixers as well as the main bus. Now I've heard the argument, all oh, does sound the same, uh, numerous times, but I gotta ask, is it really true? It's one thing to say it on paper, it's another thing to listen to it. Sure, if a DAW is designed to be clean from the ground up, sure, there might be some truth in that statement. But if a DAW is designed to recreate the harmonic saturation of a classic console and analog tape, it might be a different story. Yes, there are plugins that can recreate those two things. In fact, I use an awful lot of them in Reaver. But do they do the analog summing? And does it make a difference in the overall output? Now, the nice thing about a subject like this is that if you even dare suggest something like this on Facebook, you are looking at an instant flame war. Nothing gets people's backs up quicker than telling them they might be getting better mixes with a different DAW. It's kind of like the Mac versus PC debate, only less civil. Well, I thought I'd put the theory to the test. It is one thing to say, this DAW sounds better than that one. It's another to do a proper shootout. So what I've done here is brought up three of my favorite mixes from the last year that I've done with Reaper. I'm using top of the line third party plugins for console and tape emulation. They've all appeared on episodes here on the channel and you guys have given me some very positive feedback on them. Well, some of you guys anyway. Next, I've taken the stems from them and run them through Mixbus using about 90% of the built-in console effects. I'm using one third-party compressor in one instance and a third-party mastering plugin. The rest is all Harrison's built-in EQ, compression, console, and tape emulation. Now, just to make things interesting, I'm not going to tell you guys which mix is from which DAW. Use your ears and leave a comment below. I'll have the results up in a follow-up video next week. I've got a lot of great guest players on this one, including Philippe from Angra and Brandon White from Oni. Not to mention Jackson Ward, Liam John, Chris Wafinski, and TJ. We've got a jazzy rock jam, some double bass shred, and an old school new wave of British metal track. You tell me, which one is Reaper, which one is Mixbus? Here we go!
We'll follow up this next week with the answers. In the meantime, I'll see you guys on Friday with another episode of SMG Viewers Comments. Please hit the like button and share this with your friends, especially the guys who have home studio setups. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you like the content, please support the channel either at my SMG shop or through my Patreon. If you want to see more, hit one of the playlists. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.